uh, a card player playing Texas Hold'em, uh, loses uh, $500 in a neighborhood card game on the nights that he loses, and he wins $800 on the night that he wins. He's not really too lucky because he loses most of the time, 55% of the time. And it asks, what is the card player's expected value? And uh, the expected value uh, is kind of, well, it's the idea of like if this guy were to play cards every night over and over and over again, uh, kind of infinity <clears throat> for his, you know, many nights, um, uh, what would be his average earnings? Uh, would it be... Uh, would it be losing on average or would it be winning on average? Uh, given that he, when he loses, he generally loses 500, and when he wins, he wins 800, and 55% uh, of the time he, he loses. And the expected value is something that we can do uh, also on the TI-83 uh, using the um, – using the um, lists and uh, there there are actually two ways to do it. I'm going to get the calculator out of the way here uh, because I can describe what we're doing on the list. Uh, the first thing we do is to put in the events uh, and the two events are the event of losing 500 and the event of winning 800. Uh, a loss, <clears throat> excuse me, would be um, a loss would be a negative and a win would be a positive. So using that idea, uh, the loss, and I'm doing this in L2 here, uh, the loss is uh, <clears throat> 500, excuse me, <clears throat> and the uh, gain of 800 uh, when he wins. And um, so that's how we interpret it, the two events. So this list two that you see here is going to be the list of the events, the event of winning 800 and the event of losing 500. Uh, the next list is going to be the probability of those events uh, happening. And the probability of losing, uh, we said, is given at 55%. So we en enter that um, as a 55%. And uh, the event of winning is uh, going to be 45%, um, where he wins 45% uh, of the time, because those two probabilities then would add up to 100%. So if we're given the probability of uh, losing, we can then assume that the probability of winning is 45%. Now, using the um, <clears throat> using the the calculator to do this, um, we could actually at this point just simply to find the uh, expected value, which is the average uh, winning or loss. Uh, the quickest way to do it would be to use the one variable statistics command. Um, and where that is, again, on the calculator, uh, is to go to the stat button. Hmm. Okay, so my calculator is not responding. Let's relaunch it. We go to the stat button and then to the calculate menu. So use the blue arrow going over once and select number one, the one variable statistics, statistics command. And this is the only command that we're going to use uh, in this course under calculate. So select one variable statistics and then input uh, L2 comma L3, the two lists that had the uh, events and the probability of the events. And with that, when you press enter, uh, we get this readout, one variable statistics, 
And you notice the very first uh, entry under one variable statistics is the sample average, the sample mean, which is 85, which tells us that the um, that the expected value on average this uh, person is going to uh, win uh, on average $85 every night that he plays this, even on the nights that he loses, where he loses uh, $500. Um, the reason he, he has a, an expected value that's positive is that when he wins, which is not a majority of the time, it's only 45% of the time, but he, he wins a healthy amount, 800 now, a second way of doing this would be to uh, have those, and it's not the um, not the most straightforward way of doing this, but another way of finding the expected value for this sort of uh, contingency table um, where you've got the events and the probability of events is then formulate uh, list four or the next list. Uh, by saying that L4, when you put the cursor on the title for L4, uh, L4 is equal to L2 times L3. And when you press enter, you'll get these two numbers, the negative 275 and the positive 360. And then for this uh, value, which is the summation of those two, go to that list button again, math menu, sum, and sum lists four. And when you add these two together, the sum of those probabilities is 85, which is the sample average that we had under the one variable statistics. So the sample mean here is also reflected in this other method of finding the expected value. So, uh, in terms of the table we have here, here are the events. These are the probabilities of the events. And this list is the uh, event times the probability. And then finally, the expected value is the summation of those two. So that's how that could be done using a table if you didn't have a calculator handy. So uh, for this one, the correct answer happened to be 85. 